Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on R2. Today we're going back and we're gonna have a look again the Crocker Blocks plugins. So without any delay, let's go back to the WordPress uh, admin side and let's have a look what we're gonna do today. So today we're gonna talk about the plugin called Jet Search. Now to get the plugin installed you go to plugins add new upload plugin choose file and from the list of the files you have downloaded from crockerbox you just click it and press open and press install now once you've done so your um, jet element search will be available in your elementor even the free one. So without any delay, let's go back to the one page that I have created. So I got a page here called Elementor and Search. I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. Here we got already something there to have a look. So I have created a div, a blank, but you can actually click here and have the structure. Okay. I already got one there. And also I have added a spacer. That is the spacer here. Okay. So now I'm going to search for the widget called search. And I'm going for the first one that comes available. There are three available. So I'm going to go to search. And there we go. This is the basic search part of the jet element, jet search. So we got the search and this is the placeholder with the three dots. I'm going to show the submit button as we got it here. We got the search icon. Again, you, if you don't like it, you just delete it and choose another one. And that will be automatically replaced. Okay or you can actually have a submit label and this is what I'm going to do again if you want the icon just simply click it and search for the icon you want there we go we got the one back now it asks me if I want to search the pop-ups as well or not if I want to search the products if I got an e-commerce I can actually press yes so it will search not only the pages and the uh, posts but also the products i don't have any e-commerce installed so i will take that off we can actually style it so you can actually style the background color the text color the placeholder so on and so forth and i can actually have my margin and uh, paddings as well if i needed to i can have uh, the pop-up close pop-up trigger and pop-up box if I really need it as well but logically we're talking about the just the jet search so what we're going to do now we're going to save it we're going back to the page where we created the search part we're going to refresh it because this is a different one all I got to do now is just type at least three letters you know uh, that I want to search in this case I want to search for bitcoins for example bit I don't have to have more than three letters press enter or press or click on search and here now we got the search results okay now as i said it comes with a multiple uh way to do it the nicer one that i really like it is the search using ajax and this the ajax search i'm going to drag and drop i'm going to delete this one to make sure that we don't get confused i'm not going to change the buttons here but i would like to go and explain a little bit what's going on here now now you can have the label if you want as before search again you don't have to show category list if you want to show categories list responsive on mobile phones if you wanted to all right here I can actually choose where I want to search, just posts or posts and pages or just pages, 
for example, by clicking on the X. If I remove a word, it's going to automatically um, search everywhere on the website. How many results I would like to display and how many numbers of results once I press uh, search here. There are two uh, types of research. When you start to type in, uh, for example, let me go and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I will make a little bit more sense if I refresh that. Now, as soon as I start to type BIT, for example, it's going to give me a preview of all the posts or pages. Okay. Now, once I search, and this is the maximum you can have is five, because this is what I have set it, five. If I go down to three, And I refresh, go back again, Bitcoins or BIT. Here we go, we got three. But when I press search, I'm going to get the maximum of 25. Again, I can change change that. Of course, 25 is there are 25. If there are only five or six, that's what you're going to get, five or six. Right. You can actually sort by relevance, date, time, author, last modified, and uh, number of comments as well. Ascending and descending. Here you can actually have the uh, the way you get the results, how it's going to be shown to people. And the th thumbnails, for example, as I uh, showed you earlier on. Let's go back on BIT. How big you want those thumbnails? You can actually choose here. Okay. Now, if you are searching for, for example, for uh, products, you can actually sh show price and ratings. Again, I don't have that, so I'm not going to do it. And the pagination. You can hide the pagination. You can have the foot of the pagination. It's up to you. And here, you can have the actual notification if these things have been found. Or, for example, the actual query can do, could not be uh, executed because it's an error. Go back and update. Now, even if I press, uh, if I search again, say BIT, there we go, BIR, it says, yeah, sorry, much, uh, sorry, nothing was much for your search. So, what happened? This is exactly what happened. Now, if I say Bitcoin again, even though I got three, if I go to token, for example, I got two different ones. I go, I got three, and as you can see, you can actually uh, filter by the categories. It's a very powerful um, plugin, and to be honest, I really like it. Here you got the way you can actually style your search. There is, there is the the area, the items, the category list, the color, how big you want it, as you can see it. This is the usual uh, style from our Elementor, nothing more, nothing less. And also the advanced is exactly the same. Again, you can actually uh, match, uh, mix and match with other Jet Elements plugins, with the Jet Advanced, the pop-up, the tricks, the motion effects, and the rest. Again, thanks again for uh, stopping by and uh, I'll see you next time for the uh, next tutorial for Crocker Blocks. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. Thanks again.